Hello everybody, in today's tutorial you'll learn how to create a flat illustration of a girl working from home using Illustrator in just a few steps. The first step is to create a sketch, I'm doing this in Procreate on an iPad Pro. If you don't want to draw today then you can download my sketch from the description and follow along with the exercise. I usually start with a rough outline of what I'm trying to design then go over with a monoline brush to get the shapes right. Once the sketch is done, the next step is to move it over in Illustrator and start by lowering its opacity to 20% and lock that layer up so you won't accidentally move it. Let's start with the hair and instead of using the regular pen tool, I'll use the curvature tool. The way it works is that you have to place anchors at the points where the curves change direction and the tool will automatically create the necessary handles. You can then switch to the pen tool and close that shape off. Next you can work on the headphones which are constructed with three different circles using the ellipse tool Create the shapes and then copy and paste in front to make duplicate. Adjust the height on the smallest one and then start tracing the face. The way this style that we're trying to do works is that you create the outlines in the beginning and then place shapes with actual color right behind the initial line work. That way you can offset the shapes that hold the colors and create a more interesting flat illustration. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to be pretty easy to imagine how lines are overlapping and how they are defining each shape. You can make small pads or try to have longer one. Uh, it's really up to you, as long as these outlines are connected in some way in the end. The hardest part I think is over, now with a whole bunch of outlines selected, let's increase the stroke size a bit and go to the stroke panel, make sure the corners are rounded. Whenever you have a straight corner, select the anchor with the direct selection tool and round it off. Now you might see pads overlapping from time to time, so with the circle selected, add two extra anchors on the sides using the pen tool and remove the one in the middle. You can then connect them using the pen tool. I found this simple color scheme in a dribble shot. I recommend just sampling those colors and then saving them in the swatches panel. Before we can create the color shapes, make sure to move the outlines on a separate layer group and then lock that layer up so it doesn't mess with the placement of your shapes. The hair is going to be blonde, for that I'll use the yellow color and using the pen tool, try to very loosely follow the outlines, going for an offset look which will give you some transparent areas to work with and close that shape off and using the direct selection tool adjust the position of some of the points. If you're just beginning to create illustrations, then I would always recommend trying to keep things as simple as possible and see what you can design only using simple shapes. One big thing is to keep the color scheme to a minimum and only use black, white and maybe two accent colors. Having multiple shades of the same color is fine, but if you're doing a flat illustration, trying to add depth using more than four colors is going to be pretty tricky. For example, the neck, I'll create a white shape that does not fill the whole space and that will allow you to see the yellow part as well. So just using white and a different shape in the background, you can play with the lighting and dimension of the character. Wherever there's some overlap, I'm trying to create some contrast and use the eyedropper tool from time to time to sample colors. I like the way this looks, but would like to add a new shape to add some multiple layers of color. Let's do this triangle shape and move it to the back. After a few small tweaks done with the direct selection tool, I'll, I'll add some details to the glasses using the pen tool. Again, be on the lookout for straight corners, select multiple ones at the same time and round them up whenever you can. Right now my style has evolved a bit, in the past I would have called this illustration done, but now I'm gonna try to push it a bit more and add some texture to it, even though we're in Illustrator. With the shape selected and the drawing side mode activated, I'll create a path on the sides of the triangle shape and add one of my brushes to it, then go to the transparency tab and set the blending mode to multiply. In case you didn't notice, the outline color of the path is the same color of the shape I'm trying to add texture to. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the body as well. Don't forget that the brush is included in the exercise files, so make sure to download it if you want to follow along with this tutorial. The final step is usually to add a texture vector overlay image on top and change its color to white. This is the final look of the illustration. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this illustrated tutorial so more people could see it. If you want more tutorials like this, you can check out my other videos and subscribe for more. Till next time, take care everybody. Bye!